for everyone. Right, you're here to warm up with a nice big shout. My God, he's so big, so strong, and so mighty. You ready? My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. That's true. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. That's true. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. That's true. A few weeks ago, we had a look at fish and other creatures that live in the water that God had made. Do you remember the song that we sang? Now, see if I can remember the actions. There were fish that swim. Can you do fish? Okay. There was an octopus with his eight long tentacles. There was a shark, a hungry shark. All right, you can do a hungry shark, I know. And a tiny shrimp with all his little funny leggy things that hang down in the water. And there was a big blue whale. We didn't do actions for big blue whale. I know some of you made them up, so you can do an action for big blue whale, can't you? Okay, you ready? Who made the deep blue sea? The deep blue sea, the deep blue sea. Who made the deep blue sea? Almighty God. Who made the fish that swim? The fish that swim, the fish that swim. made. How about remembering a whole load of things that God made? He made many, many planets. Do some running on the spot. I don't think I can run on the spot and play the guitar at the same time. I might just have to stand here. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The run into it. They all say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The run into it.
use these to hide when there's trees and bushes. But you know, on a day like today, I think I'd be able to hide better if I looked like this animal. That's a polar bear, isn't it? And they are huge. Do you know how tall a daddy polar bear is when he stands up on his hind legs? Like this. Okay. Taller than me. Taller than Rob. Taller than anyone that we know. Taller than any person. He is ten foot tall. I think somebody found a polar bear once which was twelve foot tall. Ten foot tall is very big. If you were a polar bear and you were ten foot tall, I would feel very small. I don't think I'd like to meet him, do you? And when God designed polar bears, he did a very special thing for them. Now, what colour is a polar bear? You don't even need to think, do you? A polar bear oh, is white. They're always white. Actually, a real polar bear has a blackish nose, okay, and dark eyes, but apart from that, he's white. Now, why did God make polar bears white? I've got another bear with me. Okay. This doesn't look like a polar bear, does it? This looks sort of like a polar bear, okay? And which one is going to be able to creep up on the things it wants for dinner in a place where there is ice and snow and it's very cold and very white all around. We could try putting these down in the snow, see which one shows up best. How about that? Well, it's easy to see, isn't it? Look at that. Harvey the brown bear shows up very well. But Betsy the white bear, the polar bear, she can hide very easily in snow and ice. And that is a very good design for an animal that's going to live somewhere where it's very cold and where a lot of the scenery around it is going to be white, silvery ice and white snow. That's one way that God provided for the polar bear. The polar bear hunts. It's a hunting animal. Nothing hunts polar bears, okay, because they're big and they're fierce, but they hunt a lot of other creatures for food. And because they're white, they can hide in the snow. So that's a great bit of design that God has done there. But you know, there are other animals <coughs> that live in the snowy areas in the world, and they're not big and 10 foot tall. Here's another little animal that lives up in the far north where there's lots of ice and snow, and it's called an Arctic fox. And here it is. And it's sort of gray browny color because it's summertime. And where the Arctic fox lives, there's a lot of um, scrubby grass and plants and rocks. And the fox can easily find somewhere to hide. And it's hiding not because it's trying to catch something, but a lot of the time it's hiding from things that would like to catch the Arctic fox. Perhaps a big snowy owl wants to swoop down onto the little Arctic fox and catch it for dinner. Or perhaps a great big polar bear is looking for dinner and would like to eat Arctic fox for a change. And so it's good at hiding, just like I was hiding under the camouflage net. But in the winter, when for months there is snow everywhere where the Arctic fox lives, well then surely it's going to show up against the snow, just like my brown teddy bear did. But God has done a special design for Arctic foxes and for several other animals that live in cold areas of the world. Because this little Arctic fox, in the winter, when it gets colder, will start to grow long white hairs in its coat. And those white hairs will turn it into a little white fox, just like this. And then don't you think it's going to find it a lot easier to hide? The polar bear or the snowy owl is going to have to put some work into hunting for an Arctic fox. And not all the Arctic foxes are going to be caught and eaten. So that's a very good design that God has done in making things fit in to the background of where they live. Now, not all of the things that do that live in very cold places. Some of them live in hot places. What do you think this is? It's called a stick insect. And you can see why, can't you? It's an insect. 
And what does it look like? It looks like a stick. Now, in this photograph, it's just sitting on someone's floor and you can see it very clearly and you can see its legs. But imagine that it was outside where it lives, in among the trees, where there are twigs and branches. Do you think it would be easy to find? I don't think so, do you? There are even fancier looking insects. I couldn't find a picture of this one, but one of my favorite insects is called a leaf insect. And they just don't just look like sticks. They look like leaves. They look so much like leaves that if they're sitting in a bush where there are leaves, green leaves with perhaps some brown spots and speckles on them, I think, well, I don't think I could find it. I don't think you could because God has made the body of that insect look like a leaf. That's very clever. It's, it's a funny thing to look at. If you hold a leaf insect and you look at it, it's a very funny looking thing. But God shows us in this design that he cares for the things he's made. And he's given so many of them ways of hiding from the enemies or ways of hiding so that they can hunt to make sure that they have food so that they can live. Now, God really cares for these animals. And we've said, when we look at things God's made, we can see how he cares. But in the Bible, it also says, when we look at birds or plants, and we see how God cares for them in the way he designed them, we can be sure that God will care for us because God loves us even more than he loves the birds and the animals. That's a great thing to remember, isn't it? When I see that God has made a stick insect so he can hide, when I see that he's made a polar bear so that he can hunt, when I see all the wonderful design that God's put into animals and into plants and into all the other things he's made, that should remind me that God's love and care for me is even greater than the care that he's shown in making all those things. Oh, it's getting colder and colder out here and the snow is getting a little bit heavier. We're going to have to do a warming up game today, aren't we? Rob is busy, so you're going to have to do games with me and we're going to play beans. Who remembers how to play beans? Me. Okay, and I should think every bean would be a chilli bean today, wouldn't you? Because it is so chilly. Everybody, what does a chilli bean do? He shivers, okay? Oh easy for me to do that now because I'm standing out in the snow. But what other beans do we have in beans? Do you remember? We have string beans, which are long and thin. Okay, we have broad beans, which are wide and fat. We have baked beans. Now, I'm not a baked bean today, but we can do it. <gasps> baked beans, so hot. Oh, we have jelly beans. All right, not the same as chili beans. Okay, jelly, you shake, you shake. Yeah. And French beans. Oh la la. Enzo made that one up. And it's a great one, isn't it? Okay. They go, oh la la. French beans. Okay. So let's see if we can do them. I don't think I've missed any out. If I have, you'll have to think of them and tell me. Okay. For next time. Okay. You ready? Chili beans. <laughs> Broad beans. Oh, I remember the other one. Jumping beans. Okay. String beans. Very long and thin. Um, jelly beans. <laughs> French beans. Oh la la. Broad beans. Um, jumping beans. Um, broad beans again. Okay. String beans. Oh, baked beans. <laughs> French beans. Oh la la. Broad beans. String beans. Broad beans. String beans. Jumping beans. Uh, French beans. Oh la la. Jelly beans. <laughs> oh, chili beans. <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> And string beans again, and jelly beans, and string beans, and broad beans, and jumping beans, right? Jumping beans, and jumping beans again, and broad beans, and string beans, and jelly beans, and French beans, oh la la, and broad beans, and string beans, and jelly beans, and chili beans, and broad beans, and string beans, and French beans, oh la la, and baked beans, oh. This is wonderful. I'm getting so warm. Are you warming up too? Okay, one more go. You ready? Get ready because we're going to be really quick. I hope. Okay. Broad beans, string beans, French beans, oh la la, baked beans, jelly beans, chili beans, broad beans, jumping beans, um, string beans, 
Jelly beans. Broad beans. Jelly beans. Broad beans. Jumping beans. French beans. Oh la la. String beans. Long and thin. Um, broad beans. Jumping beans. French beans. Oh la la. Big beans. Jelly beans. Broad beans. Jumping beans. Jelly beans. Chili beans. French beans. Oh la la. Broad beans. Jumping beans. Broad beans. Jumping beans. Broad beans. Jumping beans. Jelly beans. Oh, goodness me. I'm going to leave the beans there because I need to go indoors and get a hot drink. Anyway, but you could carry on playing at home, couldn't you? Bye. See you next time.